everybody, my name is Lolly. Welcome to Morning Glory Farmstead. Today is a little bit different. It's all about my chickens and mostly pigeon. If you guys have watched my channel before, you've seen that Pigeon comes to the kitchen window a lot to eat. And she has just been one of the greatest companions on the property. You guys know I have a lot of dogs and cats, but it's really fun to have a chicken that shows a little bit more of a bond than most average chickens do. So I just figured I'd show you some of the footage of her from just this week, you guys. So all of this is just this week. Now, a lot of my chickens come and go and hang out in the area that's right near the kitchen. I've showed you guys that in the past. But Pigeon has really become attached and she loves to just sit at the window. She's only actually come in the house once and I didn't know that she came in. I had to go let the dogs in. I came back. She wasn't on the ledge and so I thought she was outside. She was actually in my garage because she started making her famous sounds a little bit later. So I had to go get her. I don't know how she survived all my cats and dogs, but they don't even mess with her. The one thing I do have to worry about is that when my window is open and she's sitting there for so long, I have to make sure all my cats don't start jumping out the window. All right, I'm trying to find an angle that's not so bright, you guys. The sun is beautiful today, but it's really hard for me to talk and think about what I'm saying when the sun is beaming into my eyes and I can't even see. But y'all, Pigeon comes to the window four or five times a day. If I'm washing dishes, if I'm washing my hands, if she hears my voice when I'm talking to the cats and the dogs, she runs up those pavers and jumps up onto the window as fast as she can. And she even likes to just sit there now after she's done eating. Now, sometimes Big Red jumps up there too. And I've shown her in some of the other videos and I've got a few clips of her in this one as well, but none of them jump up there four or five times a day like Pigeon. That is for sure. She is her own special thing. Now, when I bought Pigeon, I thought she was just going to be a bigger hen. I didn't even know what breed she was. It was just a box full of baby chicks. They said they have no clue what type they are, roosters, hens, whatever. So I really was just grabbing her because of the color. I thought the gray was really pretty. And she's beautiful, but I didn't know she was gonna be a bantam. And I certainly didn't know that we would come to have this relationship. Y'all, she's just as precious as she can be. When I pick her up, she just totally relaxes and we have a few minutes together and then I put her back on the ledge and she leaves. I don't get everything recorded for you guys, but I tried to make a little bit more effort this week to pick up some of her visits at the window. And I hope you guys enjoy this. You look lovely. Yes, you do. Such a pretty girl. Yes. Yeah. Your tail is so pretty, Pigeon. Yes, he's so pretty. Well, I was trying to catch you in action in your natural environment, but you're just hanging out with me. Go do something interesting. <laughs> Go do something, Pigeon. Go be the wild bird that you are. There you go. He knows how to work on command. Look at that. And action. 
job, Pigeon. All right, I just wanted to show the people some of what you do. <laughs> Thanks for that little bit of footage and I'll see you at the kitchen window soon. <laughs> Hey, okay, here, I cut you up some grapes. You look like you were tired of the eggs. Are you full? Okay. Can y'all believe this is four or five times a day? Now my granddaughter's helping right now. She likes to feed her. It's kind of fun for the grandkids to feed her. But she usually pops up at the window, even when the window's closed, as soon as I sit down to start working on something. And she will just sit there and make noise until I come open that window, and then she's patient while she waits for her snack. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. All right. Come back later, I gotta shut it so the cats don't get out, okay? Pigeon, I was trying to get some footage of you through the screen. I'm trying to show people what you do, a day in the life of Pigeon. Keep coming to the window. I'm gonna finish eating some of your egg. Good, clean that up so I don't have to clean it up. Is it too cold for those? Those are cold. They've been in the refrigerator. Oh, I think you're full. Okay, that's all right. I know you're going to come back later. Okay. You want to eat them out of my hand? Is that better? Get 
enough? All right. I'll see you later. Good morning. Are you ready for breakfast? Are you ready? Hey, there's your water. Let me get your eggs. They're good. They're fresh. Yep. Don't make yourself sick eating too many. You can have some later. Are you full? Or are you wanting grapes? She's wanting grapes. All right, hold on. Is it good? I guess that speaks for itself. Y'all, I came around here and she heard me in the kitchen. And the next second she was up on the ledge. She knows what she's doing. I think that's about it. That piece is pretty big. Can you eat that? All right, that's it. You know, when I wash my hands, that means we're done, okay? All done. That's a good snack. You already have greens, okay? Okay. Or you can hang out if you want. It's cold. I don't know how long I can leave this window open. It's freezing. I'll see you later. Big Red, you want a few more? You want a few more? All right, I'm closing up the window, y'all. It's freezing. You were just puffed up because you were cold. I saw. Your chest is puffed up. Okay, hold on. Hey. Oh, it's cold. Gave you a treat outside. You do know that. You think if you come to a different spot, you get another treat. Hold on. Water. Water. Y'all, I can always tell by looking at my green stock gardens if my chickens have been going at it again. It's great exercise for them. They jump up and down, but it means less greens for me. Can help me? You want to drill? You want to drill? What are you going to do? Well, I tried it, but it didn't fit. We got to do something else. Don't you think that's enough? Is that enough? Those were really big ones. You still want more? You want a lot for the camera. I'm trying to get you on the camera, pigeon. Okay, hold on.
Y'all, I love all my chickens, and to me, they are pets, but never did I think I would have one like Pigeon that was just so personable and followed me around while I was doing all my projects and coming to the window several times a day. And yeah, I know she wants to be fed, but she's also super sweet and enjoys my company, and it's just really fun. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those chicken shenanigans. And once again, thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I'll see you real soon in the next video. And until then, y'all have a great couple of days. Bye-bye.